I'm Jordan Belfort, and this is Sales School. All right, short message from my number one sponsor, NetSuite. Here's the deal. If you're a business owner, you don't need them, NetSuite, to tell you it's tough to run a business because it is, right? We all know that. Don't let QuickBooks and spreadsheets slow you down anymore. Now is the time to upgrade to NetSuite by Oracle. They're the world's number one cloud-based business system. They give you the visibility and control of your financials, HR, inventory, e-commerce, and more. You want to join over 24,000 companies using NetSuite right now. So schedule a free product tour now at netsuite.com slash school. That's netsuite.com slash school. I love working. I hope you love what you do. You know, the fact that you're probably either working at a company who puts you on this training, which shows incredible commitment and investing in you for a company owner, or if you invested in yourself, you bought a person, good for you. You know what I mean? This, this stuff is life changing. Don't ever forget that. You know, all these things that you learned this week, and if you're not on certification, well, you know, whatever, you could still get massive value out of the platform. You just I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's like, it's just like, you know, you're like a reason person. I really don't get it. So you really ought to get real with yourself and start asking yourself why. Body language is something about it that when you start adopting it the right way in a business setting, in a situation of influence, in all your situations of influence, it carries through to your personal life as well. It really does. It makes you just a more effective, likable, sort of, you know, a person that moves through the world as a, as a focus, as a sort of a ball of light versus a, like someone that's gonna walk into the room and sucks out energy. In the introduction, I spoke about that guy who was now the president of Malaysia. He was not the president back when I met him. He was just a famous wrestler and he walked in the room and just thought everything from the way he, he carried his body, his posture, the way his suit fit. It wasn't an overly expensive suit. His eye, his hair <clears throat> stuck out a cut above. Now, yeah, the guy was, you know, you could see he was solid like a mountain, but, but it, that's not what it was. It was just the confidence, the quiet confidence that he exuded. Not outward hysteria, ah, his energy was in but it was palpable. This is the gift you give yourself. I've said it many times this week, but I'm just gonna reinforce it one more time. Let's close this week out strong and don't, use this, just say, okay, well, great, this is a, a body language week, and now the module's over, time to move on to the next module, so I can kind of forget about that. No! I want you to internalize this stuff, along with tonality. I'm sure with tonality, see, tonality is something like I, everyone loves, I get it. It's everyone's favorite thing until we get to later modules, which you're gonna go crazy over, right? So tonality, yeah, it seems like it's just so powerful. I'm just telling you, that body language is equally powerful. There's something that happens when you carry yourself a certain way that just makes you so likable. It makes you an attractive force. It is so instrumental in building and maintaining rapport. And remember, without rapport, or if let's say you're out of rapport, you can't close. So think of it that way. Don't ever forget this. And have gratitude, by the way, for where you are right now. Have gratitude. Whether it's the company you work for that invested in you, or you had the self, what's the word I'm looking for? Not self-worth. The self-love to invest in yourself. I don't usually search for words. See, normally someone would edit this out, but I don't have to because you guys know I can find words. But that's the right, you know, the, the self-love and self-appreciation to invest in yourself. I don't get it. You know, so many people out there, like, they'll go out and spend more money on their damn pets than they will on themselves. They take it at everyone but themselves. Why? You have to ask yourself why. If you're one of those people who does that, now, I'm, listen, I'm, so good to those around me, especially those I love and care about. But I also take care of me. You know, they always say, when you're on a plane and you're about to take off and that stupid, uh, the whole thing, put your seat like, I know how to put a seatbelt on, I get it. Low and tight around my guy, I don't understand, right? I put on eight billion seatbelts, right? But one thing they say that always sticks out to me, 
They say, if for an altitude and those masks fall down, you know what they say? They say, put your own mask on first. Even if you have a child next to you. Because you can't help anybody if you can't help yourself. You're not strong. You don't have oxygen. You can't function. You can't help anybody. You take care of yourself first. So then you can take care of everybody else. That's not selfish. That's practical. That's selfless. Now, I don't say you take care of yourself to be, you know, to live a life of hedonism. I'm saying you take care of yourself so then you can be an asset to those you love, to the community around you, to the world at large. You maintain your ethics and integrity. And let me tell you something. That's living life at the highest level. I love you all. Have a great week. Keep this roll up. And I'll speak to you tomorrow casually for the weekend. Enjoy. Take care. Thank you.